do the house. <laughs> do the house this time. Shabbat Shalom, Periscope. Shabbat Shalom. Here we are again. Here we are again on Friday. Give thanks. We made it. It's continually good. You know, we had some shit going on, but man, we made it again. We're going to keep doing it. Today, though, is the day of rest. At this time, we're going to uh, chill out. Well, let's take care, huh? It's just a better, better environment on that side of things. Just overall, it's just a much better environment. Appreciate this beautiful tree while we wait on the rest of Periscope. Such a nice tree, though. Turn on the Wi Fi. Oh, it's on. Like, that doesn't matter. It's a beautiful flower. What's up, Blood Bad? Here's what we're doing, man. Shabbat Shalom. Peace, bro. Here's what we're doing, man. I mean, I've got some really nice flowers. Some Scentsy Star and some Indoor. Apparently. And I've also got some wax. It's like, kind of some whatever wax, but I'm going to what I'm going to do is dab the flower into wax. Okay. And we'll send up that smoke for the healing of the nations and the end of every curse. What's up, Bloodbath, man? How's life on Twitter? You're like an expert tweeter. I'm always slacking on Twitter. I always am. But I like how you you want to keep me on my toes on Twitter. You want to keep me on my toes out there on the other socials, bro. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's good to see you out there. Tweeting. Going off. Right? But what's going on in your world, homie? We on Shabbat Shalom, dude. We, I, I, was, I was telling the, everybody on the replay, heat waving. Oh, yeah. It has been even warm where I am, so it must be hot. Like, what did, the, what did it peak at? What's your high temps looking like this summer, man? Y'all hitting some records? Where are y'all peeking at? Forty C. That doesn't mean shit to me, bruh. Fahrenheit, please. That's like half of boiling. That's all I know about Celsius. That's got to be like ninety degrees something and you're in Canada so it's like everybody's like oh my god it's 90 degrees well dude I can't I can't do the Fahrenheit converter right now because my phone's tied up
110? Damn, bro. Damn, man. It's in Canada or something? It can't be 110. It's 110 in Arizona and shit. Somebody do the math for this boy. Somebody help everybody with that. Do you want to determine the formula to determine the ratio of, of Celsius to Fahrenheit? Do you want to walk through that with Roger John joining us? Let's see. If, ne if absolute zero is negative 212 degrees Fahrenheit, is that right? No. I think double the Celsius at 25. I think that's an approximate. That's an approximate. <laughs> I don't know how accurate that is. don't know about that one but do you have a Google available man because I want to see the high temp in your town this summer in Fahrenheit because Fahrenheit's kind of set up like it when it gets 90 to 100 is fucking hot that's kind of what it's designed to do I believe gets down to zero, it's really cold. It's well below freezing. At 100, it's well beyond uncomfortably hot. That's how Fahrenheit works. Mr. Magoo. But can you hear me, Mr. Magoo? Can you hear me, though? Like, don't around, knocking shit over, dude. Just sit down. Can you hear me? Bud bath. Anyway, what is the temperature in Fahrenheit? What's your record highs this summer? 104. Now, that's fucking hot. That's more like, that's not 114. That is fucking hot. Is that in Canada? That's a pretty good heat wave, man. Northern Ontario, dude. That is like the ice caps melting up there, dude. Well, that's not too good, huh? So is that a record? When's the last time it got this hot, man? No rain for five weeks? Damn, dude. How about chemtrails, though? I'm sure they sprayed a bunch of chemtrails the whole time. I'm sure that helped. What's up, salt and light? Welcome, you guys. All you have to do is show a sign of life, and it'll get good for you here. It's peak high before? Okay, okay. It's normal. But man, that's tough, dude. Hot and dry. Is it cool off at night, at least? Dude, here it's been peaking at like 95. You know, it's been 95. Pretty, like, we got we caught this little wave too. We caught a little wave. We'll sleep with the AC on like most Americans. I get it. What's up, Rachel? Welcome back, Rachel. Hey, you guys. Shabbat Shalom. This is a great time to invite your followers. Because Periscope's not that hot. But here we are on Friday. And we're chilling on it. So while I have some battery, that'll be my suggestion to the group. I'll probably plug in and we'll go take some dabs. You see, this guy knows how to periscope. You guys should all follow Blood Bath and Beyond. Rachel, you should follow this guy. He's a great guy. Um, also, I'll encourage you at this time, while everybody comes in, to follow your boy on Twitter and Facebook and all those, Instagram and Snapchat. Additionally, look for BrotherDank.com coming soon. Jesusisweed.com, Christiscannabis.com. Look for all these domains to be hitting real hard. And any sign of life from Rachel or Salt and Light will make these ones open to receiving all of the goodness that's coming their way here on this Sabbath and beyond. Any old sign of life. 
Some people don't know how to periscope, though. Um, I guess I get that. I've never had that problem, though. I always understand kind of what's going on. I'm usually sensitive to the, the situation. Hey, Lodo. Barney. Okay, man, here's the deal. So, I've been looking for a place so I can reunite with my cats. I got separated from my cats. You know what I'm saying? Like, the housing crisis is going on. So, I've just been, like, really steady trying to find a place that's cool and affordable. Okay, and the housing crisis that's going on. Um, also, like, I found a queen. Okay, we got a queen in the mix now. So maybe starting to like build a family and shit at this point. Like everything's falling in line. I've been staying on pass. Shit's just kind of going right. And, you know, um, I've also like maintained some stability away from like other certain forces in the world. There's like political actors out here on the domestic venue. Do you know what I'm saying? So like the heat has dropped off just a little bit, which has been good for me personally. You know, anytime someone's not traumatized on a daily basis, their life's gonna get better and better. So that's what's been going on. I've just been kind of holding my own, dude, staying steady, going to work a lot at the day job, trying to make that fruitful. You know, there are no guarantees though. Like shit's always kind of up in the air. That's kind of what it's been like for me though. But uh, it, it, I've kind of got like someone who respects me in my life and stuff with this queen, so that's always good. I might have some additional support and love going on. And looking forward, dude, like as soon as like I feel comfortable, dude, as soon as I feel comfortable, like I'm ready to launch the ministry, dude, like I want to like, you know, share in the medicines and get that going for more folks. That's really what looking forward, what I, what I really want to be spending my energies on investing in, you know whole brother dang situation like on the on the real shit yeah yeah i know dude i know it's difficult man the program against like organizing anything or taking initiative man the program against it is strong our friends ann armstrong and alan gordon are, are locked up right now in providence rhode island in the uh, capital of of uh freedom of religion in america Okay, they got arrested for having their Christian plant grow out there. Like, they basically told them, you can have your religious growth, keep it indoors. But they were like, no, let's let the sunshine hit it. You know, she like fucking uh, made a, a, a foot pilgrimage to go visit the Pope in Washington, D.C. and all this. And like, he basically gave her like special dispensation through Rome. Yes, this is the secret. You can grow weed or whatever. So this bitch is growing it outside. Yeah, yeah, community shit. This is what I'm talking about, man. And so, like, anytime somebody comes open, when they stand alone or just one or two people, man, they really catch a lot of heat. These people are in jail right now, like, facing charges. Like, it's fucking bullshit. But if, like, whole communities come together and sign on to the idea, that's a, that's a little bit different, I think. I don't think they're going to lock up the whole fucking town, dude. I really don't think they're going to, especially in Canada, man. You guys have more leeway than Americans, dude. They will come at you with the fucking guns. And these fucking uh, mind control machines in America. But in Canada, you guys actually remember your fucking rights for a second, dude. So if the community comes together and stands strong and says, all we're doing is growing fucking free medicine for ourselves and one another. And that's really clear, the intent. And that's actually what you're doing. It's like not bought or sold. It's like a free medicine model for the community. Are they going to lock everybody up, dude, for trying to help cancer folks or whatever? know with no artificial constraints do you hear what i'm saying like no regulations no uh permits and fucking uh fees or cost to your medicine ultimately like you know we're looking at donating our fucking lives which is just a small portion of time it would take to rectify the entire situation especially collectively assuming the responsibility and the liabilities and the work together okay So, are they growing tomatoes on your shit, man? Y'all need to get with the sheriff and say, we're growing tomatoes for everybody and this and that. Okay? And I see we got Cliff joining. Okay, Fabricio, I want to be clear. I want to be clear. We're growing tomatoes for ourselves and the community. And your boy Cliff gets a tomato. 
nice fresh tomato. Um, and this and that. We're also growing this and that. Okay. So, you, bros, let's welcome in Fabrizio Scardovi. If it's real, if it's a bot, then we shame that bot. It's still legal here. It's still not legal here. Man, fuck that, dude. Fuck that. It's legal. It's legal, man. Who says it's illegal? A criminal? Who says it's illegal? A fraud? What is illegal about it? What is unlawful about it? Someone who tries to do violence to stop you from doing your shit as a human being? What's not illegal, man? What's not illegal? Actions taken against you? The mind control program to keep you sick and starving? What's illegal here? Fraud? Did you have consent over any of this? Arrest, man, that's what I'm saying. Fuck the arrest, man. Let's all assume the shared liabilities at this point. I'm calling for it. I'm calling for it out here in the open. I'm articulating these things out here in the open. And I haven't been arrested for conspiracy yet. And I don't believe I should be because I'm not doing anything unlawful. Okay? That's the type of shit I'm saying. As long as we're free to at least speak the truth. Fuck. Okay, let me see. I might have somebody who's here. 